guys, King's Reaper here and welcome back to another episode of Escape from Tarkov playthrough. Now this episode we'll still be doing the quests for Prapor, so we'll be pushing the Punisher quest line. This time I'll be using the AKSU to kill scavs on customs because that's our next quest. And yeah, we're doing pretty much good. Soon we'll be having that um, secure container as a quest reward which will improve the playability of this game very much. So first raid, I immediately went for the customs to kill some scavs. I spawned in the east side of the map, pushed all the way to the west to find some scavs in the construction. But I found another player here. And this little prick was hiding from me. Well, not for long. So, I managed to smack this guy, went behind to reload to check if he had a partner with him somewhere inside here. Luckily for me, he didn't have anyone here and he was pretty much low geared, he only had a handgun, but there was a scab to kill. So after rocking that scav, looting his body even though he didn't have much, I pretty much extracted since I was wounded and didn't want to stay in raid with a blacked out leg. So I went out, healed up, took some more bullets, reloaded mags and went back into customs to kill some more scavs since we needed a lot. So we spawned on the west side of the map and I pushed immediately across, again for the construction area. Sniper scav was there. And one tap did it. Then there was another scav. And then this dude was either a player or a player scab. Based on the movement and the way from he came from, I knew he wasn't a standard scab. So I smacked him, used too many bullets for that, but I managed to do it. And yes, it was a player scav. Now that was a weird shot, I wasn't sure if he was dead or no, but when I pushed a bit forward, I found him again. And this time he was dead for sure. So I wasn't sure if that was a player or a scav, so I had to go and loot, and yes, it was a player. He didn't have much, but still, whatever he had, I picked it off him and moved on. So after killing few scavs here in this area, I was pushing towards the extract. And this dude came out of nowhere. Luckily he didn't know I was there, he didn't notice, so I had to reload my mags quickly, organize my inventory a little bit, and then loot his body. But the scavs wouldn't let me alone. So I killed another scav, picked up all the gear that he had, everything that was worth carrying, and there was another scav. Now obviously when you're laying down like this, your bullets hit the ground right in front of you instead of going above it. Because that scav simply did not receive one single bullet. So after trying to kill that scav and not managing to do that, I returned to looting this guy. So after looting him, I went, checked a few stashes, run next to the gas line or gas station and then I heard a couple of more scavs around here. Oh. 
Are you fucking blind? You can't see me. Yes, I was blind. I was very blind. And finally, the quest was done. But there was somebody else up here. One tap to the head. So I looted this cave and went to check what this guy above here had. And this was most probably a player's cave. Considering the gear that he had, the SA-58 is worth usually a lot of money. So I had to reorganize the inventory a little bit to be able to fit all of his gear. And yes, it was a player's cave. So after killing two more scavs, I went for the extract and successfully extracted. So this was a good raid. I earned over 5,000 experience, got some good gear. So I pretty much sold everything I didn't need, organized it, but it was time to turn in the quest. And finally, the Punisher part three was done. And it was time to take on Punisher Part 4. And for this one, yeah, this one was a bit more tricky. So we needed to kill some PMCs on shoreline while wearing scav vests. So I geared up with a scav vest and, and sni one sniper. So I went immediately for shoreline to find those players. And first raid was pretty interesting when it comes to players. So this raid I spawned near the spine and went immediately for the tower up to see if I'll catch some players crossing. And my aim was very bad but that was the first guy I caught here. Even though it was a hatchling I didn't care because I needed to have like 12 kills on PMCs or 10 kills. So after that I pushed to gas line or gas station just to find two more players. I didn't want them to hear me or know that I'm here, but at this point I figured they probably ran quite far already, so it was kind of safe to push after them and try to get an angle on them to kill them. And I saw them crossing right in front of me. Unfortunately, that dude did not go down. So I kept pushing after them because probably he was wounded, but he wasn't dead. I had to approach carefully since this was pretty much an open field and they could have camped in some bush or under a tree. I wasn't sure where they were, but still I had to push them because I had to get those kills. Now, I figured since they weren't here, they kept pushing forwards. They couldn't hear my shots clearly, I, they didn't know where I was from. And that's when they start fighting someone else. So I pushed even faster. Just to find those guys, to catch a glimpse of them. There he was. Now for some reason that headshot didn't count. And I was trying to get that dude as hard as I could. And luckily I did get him in the last minute before he shot at me. But what I didn't expect is that there would be another player even closer to me. And I was empty. So, what do you do? 
You dance around the tree like a monkey. You wait for him to reload, and when he starts reloading, you push with your gun, with your barrel, into his face. Whew, that was a close one. But I did manage to kill him and the other guy, and go figure, he probably killed his friend because there was another dead body here. So I went on to loot both of these guys, and this guy had a very good vest on him, so it fits a lot of items inside, so I picked that up. And then I went to loot another guy that I just killed. But I figured out there was somebody else around very soon because there was a lot of shooting, a lot of action going on. And there he was. And unfortunately again, that was not a headshot. So I moved bit back since I shot at him and I didn't know if he was gonna flank. He probably didn't know from where I shot. And there was somebody else. So I gave him two solid shots and he starts running. I had to push immediately after him. If I let him go, he's gonna heal up somewhere in the bush and come back. Now since this is an open field, he doesn't have much options to hide, so my guess was he was somewhere in these bushes. And there he was. So I gave him another three shots, and that the fourth one was fatal. Although I don't understand how come he didn't die from the first shot, since it was clearly in his head. But yeah, that was another guy on this map, in this raid. So I picked up everything that he had again. Went back to loot this guy completely, since I didn't finish looting him. And that was quite a lot of loot for one raid. So after killing few more players on this side of the map, I pushed for the extract and extracted successfully. But that was not enough. Even though it was really good raid, which in which we made 5 player kills at once, that was great, I still needed 5 more kills. And the following raids unfortunately did not go as well as the first one did. So this raid we spawned on the north side of the map, and I decided to push around the resort to maybe catch someone flanking going around there. And that was my biggest disadvantage, he had a full automatic weapon, with which he killed me instantly. So next raid, I picked up M700, silenced it, took some M80 and M61 rounds with me in the raid, and hoped that I would get to a spot where I could snipe someone down and catch them off guard. So I spawned on the west side of the map, checked the village first, if somebody spawned there, nobody was there. But for that time I lost, somebody already came up to this area around the gas station. And I did kill this guy. But the rule in this game is that they're never alone. And of course he had a partner. And he wounded me quite badly. I did give him one solid shot with M61 rounds, but still, that was not enough. He was obviously using an Aether, Silent Stater or something like that. So I was trying to bait him out to get one more shot into him. And he throws an aid at me. Unfortunately, I missed my shot, and that was it. So, yes, when you're playing a sniper, you're at a big disadvantage if somebody comes close to you, because most probably you won't be able to kill them, they'll, they'll kill you and you'll be done. So next raid, I picked up another SKS that I acquired from completing a quest, and went again into Shoreline. 
This quest we spawned on the same spot again, so I pushed immediately for the gas station because I remembered what happened last time and I didn't want somebody to catch me or to beat me to it. And as I was waiting up here, I heard somebody approaching. And that was an easy kill. But if you listen closely, there was two pair of footsteps. So I checked everything around before I went and loot this guy. But unfortunately, his friend was still there. One shot and he takes out my stomach immediately. I didn't know where he was, so I flanked even further away up on the hill to check up if I can find him. And I couldn't, but I did find somebody else. So two players pushing from the resort downhill. And this was my biggest advantage and biggest surprise that I could give them. They didn't know I was here, so I started pushing behind them to catch them off guard, give them some easy and simple headshots. Unfortunately, that was not it. For some reason, I have a feeling that the first bullets are simply not hitting their targets as they're supposed to. And these guys went into the fight with scavs straight away because there was still some scavs at the tower or at the dam. But still, they couldn't figure out where I was. So I still had an element of surprise. They still were down there. They couldn't know where I was, so I waited them out. They would leave eventually in some direction. And so one of them crossed the bridge, and I knew one was still back there and one was up here. And there he was. So, yeah, once again, no headshot for some reason. So I started pushing back to flank him, to go from the opposite side, to try to get him off the hill. And as I came up and reloaded my gun... No sound whatsoever. No sound of footsteps, no sound of somebody coming towards me. I am just straight out dead and the dude was obviously right next to me. So yeah great audio game. After dying once again in that raid so poorly and miser miserably, I went for another raid and again I picked up SKS, went again into Shoreline and this time I spawned on the east side of the map and as I was scout scouting for this guy, because there was one guy up there, I found this dude. So one guy was up on the hill sniping and this dude knew it so he was sniping for him as well. I flanked on white side to check if he had a friend. Unfortunately his camping friend was hiding somewhere in the bushes. I could not see him, I didn't see him and it costed me a lot. So he just started nading and that was pretty much it. But at least I had one kill in this raid. So next raid, once again, SKS, Shoreline, because I still needed one or two more kills to be done with this quest. So quickly loaded back in and hoped for optimal spawn where I could catch people off. So again, west side, right next to the extract and I pushed again for the gas station and what do you know, somebody came also up here. But again, no headshot. For some reason, the bullets are simply not going where they are supposed to. And I guess they'll be fixing that because I read something on the dev blog that this is not normal and first shot should be working better. 
and there was another dude coming towards me, just as I decided to move. But what I didn't know is that his friend was right behind him and he smacked me simply in the head, so that was it for that raid. So next raid I picked up a Vapor Hunter with a scope, picked up some M61 and M80 rounds and went back into shoreline cause we were still not done with this damn quest. Our luck was simply not good. So this raid we spawned again on the north side of the map, I was looking around for players and little did I know that these two guys would start off a fight right next to me. But since he was moving so much, I didn't have a stable shot. So they were still fighting. I was waiting to catch one of them, but unfortunately none of them came. So I decide to flank back and go around to see if I can find one of them. And somebody was there. Unfortunately this guy wounded me quite badly, so I pushed back, hid in this bush for a little bit to heal up as much as I can, get painkillers or something on me, well of course I didn't go in the raid with painkillers because why do you need painkillers? You don't need painkillers. So I thought he would push me eventually. And of course he did. And finally our subtask for the Punisher part 4 was done. And this dude was some Chad. And he killed so many players, that's just amazing. So I looted up everything I could from him. And as you can see he already had on him like 4 dog tags or something like that. So I had to decide what I'm gonna take and what I'm gonna leave here. I picked up everything that I wanted, optimally what I thought it was best and pushed for the extract back to the tunnel. Luckily I extracted successfully and this was another part of the task complete. So guys I hope you enjoyed this episode, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up, please uh, if you can and if you want hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications button cause you'll be notified when I push out the next video then. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching, bye!